Aloha. Aloha. that you can applaud that please applaud <laughs> Okay, so for the rest of the show, you need not applaud because we have a lot to get through and we want to make sure that you hear everything and see everything. So we're just going to go one into the other and don't worry about applauding us. We know you love us, okay? <laughs> My name is Aaron Salah. You see how you're applauding already? My name is Aaron Salah and I'm an assistant professor of ethnomusicology and Hawaiian music at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Uh, and we are so very, very proud to be here at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival this year in the One World Many Voices program. And we're ex especially proud that the Kennedy Center has invited us to be a part of, of these series of performances taking place on the Millennium Stage throughout these next two weeks. And so what you saw this evening at the opening was a, a DVD that was produced by a, a team that included our bass player. You'll see him come out later. His name is Kihei Nahalea. And the title of the song was Kaulana Na Pua. And we're going to sing this song for you again at the end. And at that time, hopefully I can make it through explaining to you um, without bawling like a little child because of the importance of the song for us as Hawaii, us as Hawaiians. And you, 
one of the heart, at the very heart, at the very core of our delegation here from Hawaii is the work of the family, intergenerational work, family, parents teaching their children or raising their children really these days in Hawaiian language and, and understanding how the language informs a worldview, informs us of, of how to how to do, uh, how to practice our culture, how to sing our songs, how to dance our dance. And so that really is, is the foundation, the core of what we bring to you this evening. And you saw a father and son, Kalehua and, and Kaula, come to the stage and, and, and Kani Kapu, they blew the shell to the four corners of the earth in order to call our kupuna, call our ancestors to be with us tonight as we share our song and dance with you. We consecrated the stage and chants to, to Laka, and a, an, a hula to Kane, God of fresh water, God of man, God of movement in the earth. And then I came out and said, Aloha to you. And it was so serious that nobody said Aloha back. So I'm going to try that again. Aloha. Good. Aloha in Hawaii is a way we acknowledge each other's existence. And so it's kind of strange when somebody says Aloha and then you look back like. And so Aloha, we, by sheer definition of the word by default i cannot have aloha for you if you don't have aloha for me it's like one of our professors once said haunani k trask you probably know her as a hawaiian activist she she says to us aloha is a two-way street i cannot have it for you if you don't have it for me and so on with the show the next, uh, the next mele that is chanted and the next dance that is danced in, is in honor of the, the king that really united all of the islands into one nation. His name was Kamehameha. And we have two reigning monarchs after the consolidation of the islands into one nation. And we're going to honor them both this evening. And so first we bring Kumu Kalani Akana. He's a master chanter, master kumuhula, master source of hula. And he olis for you. He chants for you a name chant in honor of Kamehameha. And he's followed by Pili who dances for you, Hole Waimea. Hole Waimea was written by Kamehameha's warriors, the, the key Pu'upu'u warriors from Waimea, Hawaii, and they honored their chief, they honored Kamehameha with this dance, a war dance called Hole Waimea. Ladies and gentlemen, Kumuhula Kalaniakana. Kua kula oe ka malanae aki ki pūpū, olo ka mako ka oha vai i a uli. Nini au eha ka, kua oki koa e e. Eha i ki anu kana hele au ai ka. E aloha e e. Ai, hole wai mea ka ihe a a kamakani. Hole, hole wai mea i ta ihe a i kamakani hau mai na ale a ke ki.
Kamele called Hole Waimea. Now, the Kamehameha dynasty ruled from 1810. You see how you're going to applaud now? The, the, the Kamehameha dynasty ruled from 1810 to 1874. Kamehameha I united all of the islands in 1810. He died in 1819. And then a series of his children then ruled until 1874. They represent the first ruling dynasty after the consolidation of the island chain into one nation. They are followed through democratic process by the Kalakaua's. Kalakaua's, Kalakaua, King David Lamea Kalakaua, the first of the Kalakaua's to rule, ru rules from 1874 to 1891. And then he's followed by his sister in 18, uh, Lili Wokalani. She rules from 1891 to 1893 until the overthrow. Oh, we'll talk more about the overthrow later. Believe me, we will talk about it. <laughs> and so we bring Kaula to the stage. One of the most important things about Kalakaua is after Kamehameha's death in 1819, the missionaries come in 1820. And what's different about the missionaries' arrival in 1820 is that they're the first group of people who come to Hawaii to purposely change the way we live. We had seen, you know, Captain Cook and, and his friends come since 1778, but they don't really expect to change the society. Missionaries come with a with the purpose to change society. And so they, they, uh, over, you know, they overruled the original Ho'omana system, a uh, spiritual religious system called the Aikapu, and um, they bring in Christianity. These Calvinist missionaries bring with them Christianity. Well, Christianity reigns until, well, well through today. In 1874, when Kalakaua comes to the, the fore, one of the most important things he does is to say it is okay to be Hawaiian. In fact, we should be proud to be Hawaiian. And so let's revisit the old ways of our ancestors and bring them back to life. And so one of the things that he does is cultivate a kapu that, was, um, uh, that belonged to one of his own ancestors. That was to burn torches during the day. One of the most sacred kapu in our, in our society in traditional times. And so Kaula is going to dance in honor of this kapu, Hemelea Hino Kala Kaua. He's followed by uh, Wahine and Nahiku, two children of Kihei Nahalea, and they are going to chant for you in honor of Kalakawa's sister, Lili'uo Kalani. And they finish with a mele called Elili'ue, a song written for Lili'uo Kalani as a child, forbearing all of the kuleana, all of the responsibility on, upon her shoulders that she will become one of the most important Hawaiians of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, in honor of the Kalakawa dynasty.
Oya. Oh, Maika ikela. Matoka. Oya. Oli wol kui ke kabu kalama huo kanoya umai mona ke akamai kani ani o kaporole e ni anai to mai te mai te e ola nu yo kala hui e ola hokai nu yo ke abe akawi kupu ane ane. So, these children all belong to this lady. This lady is my very good friend, Snowbird Puanani Opawa Kalani Bento. She's my good friend because she does everything I tell her to do and then she doesn't grumble. And so, um, she's the Kumuhula. She is the Hula team. No, really, she, she far outranks me in our society. Um, and she is the Kumuhula, the Hula teacher of Kapahula Okaleilehua. And the name of her school is Kapahula Okaleilehua. And all of these children dance for her. And so would you give them a round of applause, please? Oh, yeah. Now you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mahalo. And so at the end of a kahiko set, at the end of a traditional dance set, we always end with celebrating sexuality, celebrating procreation. It was, it's something we've, we've always done in Hawaii. Even after the missionaries came, we just called things different names and we still celebrated sexuality. And so we're going to end with a uh, mele mai, a procreational chant uh, written in honor of... Kamehameha uh, E4. Kamehameha E4. Kamehameha E4. Kamehameha the fourth. His mai was called Iolani. And so... Yeah. And so... He um, mai no Iolani. Eva hima i ehe ai no iola ni ehe ai Eva hima i ehe ai no iola ni ehe ai Ai a doma i ehe ai i ilave ehe ai Ai a doma i ehe ai i ilave ehe Ha ha la la ve ya la ehe ai, koki ha la nui ehe ai, ha ha la la ve ya la ehe ai, koki ha la nui ehe ai. 
So the missionaries come in 1820, and the kinds of the kinds of mele that you saw up until this point are representative of a more traditional society. The missionaries come and they bring us the scale, this one, and then we start to sing using this scale. And so, what happens is the missionaries bring this scale. They bring with them hymns, right? The church hymns, and we learn to sing church hymns. And then Hawaiians do what we do best: we take what people give us. We make it better, and then we call it Hawaiian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There are Hawaiians out there, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so um, the, the missionaries inspire a kind of mele structure, a kind of song structure we call now hula kui. Hula kui is represented by two lines of mele. I'm an ethnomusicologist. Two lines of lyrics um, that, that fall between one, the tonic of a piece, and five. And so the vamp that you all hear all the time, this one, comes from this, this mele, this, um, this mele hula kui. And so we're gonna, we're gonna feature a hula kui right now. We're gonna, I'm sorry. We're gonna play a perform a hula kui right now featuring the wife of our bass player here, Kihei Nahalea. This is Nohelani Stibbard. Would you give her a round of applause? <laughs> She's gonna take us to the big island of Hawaii, to, to Waipio Valley. And, and tell us the story of, mm, oh, it's so Hawaiian, this kind of gossip. <laughs> Lovers that are gossiped about. You know, it's sort of like All My Children and, and General <laughs> Hospital, you folks know. And so it's a song called Hi'i Love It. Papalongi mai a o mau kele Kumaka ka i kena ya hi'i lawe Papapalongi mai a o mau kele O kele mai a O kele mai a u i knu i manu O mala a u nei puni wa i pi o Bakele mai ya ui kanu i manu Au wala au nei kuni wa i pio A ole no wa u e wa a mai A hi u hi wa i au no ke kua hiri A ole no wa u e wa a mai Ai uli vai ao no ke kua hiri E hiva hiva ao na kama kua Ai lei a i na ke kukuna E hiva hiva ao na kama kua Ai lei a i na ke kukuna No puna ke alai hali i a mai No hoi ka wai lele a ohi i lawe 
Dances for a very well known Kumuhula. His name is Manu Boy, prolific songwriter. And so, be, before we leave the Hula Kui era, Manu, Manu writes many different beautiful songs, most of them in the Hula Kui style, Hula Kui structure. And this talks about the fragrance of the beautiful Pikake blossom, the Arabian jasmine, favorite flower of Manu's family, really, um, Kaiulani. Song called Ala Pikake. And so the missionaries really, uh, Captain Cook puts us on the map. The missionaries make sure we stay known in the world. And that creates an avenue for more, more people to come into Hawaii. And of course, they bring their music with them. And that music inspires us to compose our own and, and create new styles. And one of these styles is called hapahaole. Hapahaole literally means half foreign. And uh, hapa usually refers to a song that usually uses both English and Hawaiian lyrics at the same time. The first Hapahole song was written um, by a Hawaiian, no less, in 19, and, f and published in the very early 1900s. We're going to bring the children to the stage now. They're going to dance for you a song called Kaleponi Hula. 
a song about a little girl that goes to um, California, and when she comes back, these are all the things that she wants. <laughs> a song called Kaliponi Hula. And so at the end of Waikiki, there's a park we now know as Kapiolani Park. And it looks very different now in contemporary times than it did back in the day. Back in the day, there was an island and a moat and a stream running from, from the mountain to the ocean there. Well, that island was called Maki Island after Captain Maki. And so we're going to bring the mothers to the stage, Kihapai and Makanani, and they're going to dance in honor of Captain Maki. And what used to happen is that island in the, in the middle of the moat, well, uh, you know, young, young oh, well, younger than me anyway, young children would go to, um, to the moat and, you know, uh, sit on the rowboats. And, and so at the time, you couldn't go only two, you know, a boy and a girl. A chaperone had to come along as well. And so Elua, um, and so that second verse, Elua, two of us, no, Ekolu no Mako, three of us um, get to Nanea in the island. A song called Maki Ailana.
And so we're going to bring Kaula to the stage now. In 1946, in April, there was a large tsunami on, on Kauai. Uh, I'm sorry, in, in an area called Laupahoehoe. Hoi. And in 1950, that, that tsunami inspired um, a woman by the name of Ermgard, Ermgard Farden Aluli to Hakua Mele to, to compose a song. And so she partnered with, with one of the most prolific composers of Hawaiian Mele, Mary Kavena Pukui to inspire a song about a young boy and growing up in, the, in an area called Laupahoehoe. And so ladies and gentlemen, please bring to the stage Kaula and the boy from Laupahoehoe. Hey, uh. <laughs> And so as I shared with you in the beginning, there was a song written in 1893 after the overthrow of the Hawaiian Kingdom, written by Eleanor Prendergast. It was written for the Royal Hawaiian Band, a song called Kaulana Napua. You heard this song at the beginning of our, at the top of our performance this evening. And Kaulana Napua really speaks to the importance of the children, the importance of the people of the land to rise up and be proud of our culture, of our kingdom, and most importantly, to stand behind our queen. Her name, Lili Wo Kalani. And so the song says, Walava mako kapohaku, that it is enough for us to, to aina, eat the sacred rock of the land. Aole ikapulima, ikapepa oka enemi, that we will not sign the paper of the enemy, that we will not stand behind the things that are against Hawaii. Mahope mako wo lili wulani, we stand by lili wulani, lili um, okalani. 
And this is how we will endure. This is how we will survive. This is how we will thrive into the future. And so on behalf of Snowbird Puanani Opawa Kalani Bento, Kumuhula Kapahula Okalei Lehua, Kumuhula Kalani Akana, Kihei Nahalea and his children, Kalehua Krug and his children, my wife Makanani and our children, With to all of you Hawaii, to all of you Hawaiians that are living away from home, you are part of us and we take you with us wherever we go and we hope that you take us with you. Stand proud, be proud. Kaulana na pua o Hawaii. Kaulana. Thank you all so very much for being with us this evening. Aloha nui kakou.